What up guys, I just made a video right before this stop about delivering three pallets of block up a curb and uh, now I got a pickup for three blocks of, or three pallets of block going up a curb. It's like identical, but instead of getting it off the truck, I'm putting it on the truck. So let me show you here. Literally looks like the last delivery I just did. Um, but what I was trying to say, right here on the curb, you can put some lumber. We got three tires, right? Two on the outside, one back in the middle. You can put lumber along here if that step is too high, then too aggressive for your Moffitt. Uh, you can blow your hydraulic lines, uh, get too aggressive sometimes with the heavy lift. Well, in this case, we're going uh, empty up. I'm still locking differential. Uh, but that can be hard on the Moffitt uh, with the climb and the heavy load. So you can make yourself that step with some lumber, and that's what I was trying to explain on the last delivery, um, if that wasn't clear enough. But uh, actually, let's grab the fire one first. And now what I'll do, since this is a pickup, is we're gonna go, and sometimes these blocks can be kinda hard to pick up. I'm gonna drag it out up the hill, get it on level ground and get out of this thing. Alright. There we go. We're set on uneven ground so you can see. Took a couple uh, stamps at it and we did it. But now I'm gonna go backwards off the uh, off the hill here. Differential lock, just a little little bump down off the hill or the curb. And they're nice and easy off the curb with the front tires. I can take my lock off for the street. So it's just everything I did in the last delivery in reverse. center these a little bit so I can have them all just loaded from the side of the truck. That way I don't have to move the truck now. So back again to the curb, differential lock. You always check your uh, stabilizers when you get to a curb. Um, sometimes drivers get lazy and uh, don't pull stabilizers up all the way and uh, you can catch yourself uh, on curbs and most importantly if you're driving fast and you go over a storm drain or something that's happened to me, um, if you don't have your stabilizers up all the way, you can get yourself caught and not even see it coming. And uh, trust me, it's not fun. It hurts. You come to a dead stop and you're not expecting it. It's, it is not an experience you want to have. But I've learned everything the hard way, so... Here we go, back down. Nice and easy with the back tire, just let it drop off the curb. Same thing with the front. You don't want to hit too hard off the front so the stabilizers don't bang the curb and tip it. You know, because your wheels have a little bit of give in on the bounce. If you bounce too hard, then that metal is going to hit that curb and tip it. So, it's all being nice slow and steady. As always, not trying to create any damage. So we'll set this down. I'll back up. Tilt up. Slide in. There we go. Nice and centered. Dif difference to lock off. Alright. Rinse and repeat. One more step. Lock on. Easy curve climb back tire, get there, then hit the gas, get up. This one should be a little bit easier pick, it's not on the hill. Still going to drag it out a little bit, 
and uh, get it on the forefoot better. Come on in, all the way. There we go. So, last time. Back wheel off nice and slow. Stanchions or stabilizers are all the way up. Easy curve. There we go. Differential lock off and just get it on the truck. No, I didn't need any more room. I'm taking this back to the store. Otherwise, I would have backed the back these pallets on the front and did the third one behind them in the middle, but I'm going straight back to the store, so I'm just going to center this. I got a 13 minute drive back to the store. I'm going to sweep off that dirt that I just brought with me before I move on. So I'm not spraying the cars behind me with debris. <clears throat> Always keep a, a regular broom in your truck. Shake this dirt off of my forks there. A little jiggle. Always keep a regular broom, push broom. And uh, keep a small broom also. For stuff like this, uh, all you need is a little handheld broom. You don't need the big broom for that, so. You can just grab it out of the, right up behind your seat or something, so. That'll do it. Uh, that's my second block of the day. One delivery, one pickup, and then there you go. On the truck, centered somewhat, and then uh, just got some cleanup to do, and then I'm out, so. Give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the on the uh, on the next one.